Hi everyone, welcome to Lakeland, Florida. I'm sorry we caught it on a rainy day, but we just ate at this awesome Cuban restaurant here in Lakeland. It's called West Caribbean Cuban Restaurant. And this is one of the best Cuban restaurants that I have eaten at. I have eaten at a lot. Um, they had one thing that I have gone to many, many Cuban restaurants and I've only gone to one other restaurant that's had it, and that is a pineapple batito. And usually if they do have it at another place, it's made with water. They won't make it with milk. And this place made it with milk, so I was very, very happy. It's like a milkshake. Yeah. It's very good. Jose had a cappuccino. Cuban money. That's not Cuban. <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. Sorry about the rain, guys. For, yeah. I really, there's nothing I can do about it. It didn't look like it was going to rain. The weather betrayed us. Yeah. But we're here, and this is a very important video. Oh. Lakeland has the, been the only city in the entire country with positive job growth since the pandemic. Yep. Only city. And it's here in the beautiful state of Florida. Mm -hmm. Caught me off guard, I'll tell you that much. But all I did was investment. Yeah. And we've lived in Florida a long time. And to hear anything out of Lakewood, <laughs> like. Oh, they're like shooting? Yeah. Is like unheard of. If it was heavy rain, I could wash it off the windshield nicely. Yeah. But the fact that it's light rain, it's just, it's actually worse for video making. But we have to, we're we got to show you this place. You guys got to see like where This is our chance. Finally to be here. We've been here, but we videos. Yeah. We were here a few years ago, and we ate at this cute little restaurant. I think it might be in this plaza. No. No. Downtown. Downtown. Yeah. Was it a breakfast place? Yeah, it's called Cozy Oaks Cafe, and that was delicious. So there's was very good time. food here. Yeah, that was good. Yeah. In the hood, though. In the hood, yeah. The well, is so if you ghetto. see purple houses, you're probably near most cities ghetto. Did you notice how ghetto everybody was in that restaurant was? I liked it. <laughs> the food was great. Yeah. But they all dressed like I would when I was 17 years old. Yeah, I did notice that. It was like they would still be playing, like, I'm so good from, like, plies. and. You still play that. I criticize other people who are like me, okay? So don't get to me started. Dang it, bro. Hopefully this rain stops. Yeah. I'm so good. Do you, do you realize how ghetto, like, that's like the ghettoest group of Spanish people I've ever seen. Yeah. He, he criticizes me. For sale. Yeah. yeah sure oh. The city's not expen uh, expensive yet. Like, not ridiculous. No. Yeah, he criticizes me for wanting certain plants at our house. We don't have a house. Citrus. Our empty lot? Yeah. Our, our own property. It is property. If you want to buy it, I'll buy it. Really? Yeah. But I want you to understand. You will be making fun of me for it. Yeah. And it might die. Or get sick. Yes, I know that. I still want it. And I'm even considering avocados. Like, all the things that I like, I want. Doctor Alabama think, think, thinks I had cancer in my stomach, and I don't want to believe it, so I never really acted on it. I just never really not ready for it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's true or not. He just hit the tail with a knife for chance. But at this point, it was that, but I don't really care. Mm -hmm. But every day I struggle. Mm -hmm. You guys have seen me, like, sick. 
I tell him, like, if we can't, you know, we can at least get you on better medications if he goes to the doctor. It's like, he can't, we only have Pepsid to help him. Maybe there's something stronger that can help you. It's hard to get doctor's appointments down here in South Florida. Up in Alabama, it was easier to get doctor's appointments here. The first thing that they say is, do you have insurance? If you don't have insurance, they don't even want to touch you. Because no. they're trying to they're trying to milk you so bad yeah. that like a normal person without insurance can't even afford it. Mm-hmm. They don't, you know, like they don't even want to touch you. Like you can't even get a doctor's appointment if you don't have insurance on stuff as well. In Alabama, at least we can go to a doctor. Maybe once we're maybe while we're up here, we can see a doctor up this way. Yeah, it's like I don't even care if I have to take you to Alabama to go to a doctor. I'll it's take you to Alabama to go to a doctor. Louisiana or some other state. Uh-huh. It's bad in Florida. You can't even get a doctor. Remember when I, um, when I had problems with, what was that? Your, your same lungs? Thing? Yeah, same thing. We couldn't even get a pulmonologist just to look at me. Yeah, but then we found that one doctor that really helped you. Yeah, yeah, in Golden Gate City. He wasn't even supposed to be doing that, literally. Like, literally, he wasn't even allowed to do that type of thing. And he just did it for me. He's like, bro, look, I know what's wrong with you. I'm not, I'm not allowed to tell you it's this, but this is what it was. And he was right. Well, wasn't he? Maybe we should call him. And say about my stomach. He's a real doctor. Like he just isn't like. Yeah, I should see him. Mm. Technically, he's not allowed to do any of that stuff. But there you go. Pretty much saved my life. No, he 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 was good. He helped you. Yeah. Like he might be able to just give you a stronger stomach medication. He's that just helps not trying you. to rip you off. Yeah. Yeah, he's an honest dude. Any of the other doctors we were seeing could have done the same thing he did. Been like, hey, bro, this is really what's wrong with you. Instead of having you be around the bush because they're just trying to milk your insurance company or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay, maybe underneath these trees, we won't get so much rain in the windshield. Yeah. So hopefully we. I know it's been very annoying if you're watching this video, but um, yeah. you can't really do anything about the rain. What's weird is like sounds like your like your blinker or the windshield wiper, mm-hmm. like on the video, it picks up on it really loud. Yeah. This is pretty here. Yeah. They got a lot of woods here though. Like that's the thing. Like uh, everything I ever been known about Lakeland, mm-hmm. it's just stuff like they got a lot of hoods. Can you put up map? Yeah. Uh, you have the other phone. <laughs> the only thing I've heard about Lakeland is Publix. Publix is from here. Yeah. Um, it's just people from Lakeland, like a lot of Puerto Ricans. I knew that. Even like I wanted barbecue and I got Cuban just because I know it's a little bit lighter in your stomach, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, the coffee wasn't. Look at this house, baby. Yeah. Look at this house. Mm-hmm. That's cool. I, I've house. always loved uh, barn style it's homes. It's got a metal roof. Yeah. This neighborhood's gorgeous. Yep. Oh. It is 12% H. I didn't ask you for demographics. I asked you for opening up maps. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, a little bit of a hearing aid problem there. You know, I love how people get mad at us arguing. Like, they don't realize by now, like, if you watch our channel, me and Kate argue a lot on video. We don't argue as much off video. We do it for the sake of entertainment. Yeah. And you should be able to tell by now that we're just having fun. Mm-hmm. But people who watch our channel for the first time, they're like, you treat her like crap. And it's funny, it's like, I could do a video where Katie could be the jerk. Yeah, and you'll still come up being the jerk. Yeah. Well, no, like, this is called Lake Bentley around here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, it does, the houses do look like Bentley. <laughs> so sick, you have no idea. Yeah. Well, I think our windshield wipers are broken. They are super loud. I know it's annoying. I'm sorry for the people like who live here and watch this video. Like, we really tried to get the weather right. This is one of the most pretty houses I've ever seen. I love it. That is beautiful. I didn't even make a good cover photo. That house is just beautiful. Look at them. That is beautiful. Oh, that, it don't go on this street. There's people playing. Yeah. It's, it's a dead end? Yeah, it's a dead end, and there's people playing. Well, that's good. That's a nice thing. Yeah. Okay. Oh, everyone there. Fuck. <laughs> 
is so sick. Can I beat diabetes by any chance? Drink more water. Well, diabetes doesn't usually affect your stomach like that. Um, I'd be more inclined to think it's ulcers. Yeah, that's what my dad has too. Well, there you go. Yeah. They could be hereditary. Yeah, I think they are. In that case, they can they can fix that. We got, since there's overcast, we got glare on the windshield. Yeah. And we got rain. Like, I hate it. Like, who would watch it? I wouldn't watch 10 minutes of a video like this. I would. You would? Yeah. With a windshield wiper going off. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm so sorry. But we're here, and, like, somebody who, who needs to see this video will watch it, though. Yeah. It's so bad. Like, the windshield wiper... Well, like, remember, uh, like... You want to see a city how it you, how it is, like how things are. Yeah, but still, like, you want to see it on a nice sunny day, not like this. Not necessarily. This is actually a really good day. It's like if you really think about it, because they're watching not just for what's it going is a on. It's Sunday too, yeah. Yeah, it's Sunday, and most likely you're gonna be home on Sunday, so you want to see what it looks like on a Sunday. If you're really wanting to see Lakeland. Hmm. Is that a royal palm tree? Look. Yes. A royal... No, it's a queen palm tree. Queen? Yeah. Hmm. I didn't think royal palm trees could go up this far north. Do we have a royal palm trees? We have two. Yep, I bought two of them. Nice. On each one for... I hate, I hate queen palm trees, though. Why do you hate queen palm trees? Remember we used to have two in the front yard? Oh yes, they were they they were terrible. The maintenance was incredibly horrible. Oh my gosh. Ugh. The maintenance? They always look terrible. They always look like crap. Remember they had bees? They attract bees? Yeah, like we couldn't go in our front lawn because we'd get attacked by bees. This is gorgeous. Wow. Yeah. I don't Florida had anything. This is gorgeous, man. Yeah. You're running shirtless in the rain? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh look at the size of that house. <laughs> wow. Okay, so this city does have some great stuff. All I ever seen was hood stuff. This reminds me of... What's the name of this lake? Oh. Look at the size of those houses. It's a pretty substantial lake. Yeah. Lake Bentley? Sure. There's a lot no, of No, it's called like Bentley. This is gorgeous. Can you imagine bass fishing over Yeah, this is like that one place where we used to release the birds. Oh, yeah. We need to go there on this trip. Yeah. Uh, Leesburg? Yeah. Yeah. Remember, I used to fish. I never caught anything in Lake Harris. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Oh, and Wonders. I love how they like changed the style. It's like Mediterranean meets Florida. Let me just say, this is gorgeous. Um, everything I ever thought of, I thought it was just some ghetto dump out here. Mm -hmm. This is nice. I thought it was just a ghetto dump. Because, I mean, there are some ghetto dumps here. We'll yeah. Them. We're going to do a good video, too. We've been through here a hundred times. Oh, look at that one. Mm -hmm. I like that. Every time we come through here, mm -hmm. we're just it stuck on tolls or highways. We're actually in the city. We're here. So we're here now. Look at this. Yeah. This is gorgeous. Oh, cool. They're like jet skiing. Oh, in the rain. In the rain. It looks look fun. Things. I want to say I'm very thoroughly impressed. How beautiful this is. And there's like hundreds of these lakes, you know that, right? Yeah. Like the whole area. There's nothing but lakes in the directions. thing I like that it's all white people. Can I say that? I don't think so. <laughs> but you say a lot of weird things, so it kind of blends together. 
I'm a Hispanic, but I only want to live around white people. I feel like I'm above other Hispanics. You know, like, they play a lot How did it work for you in Alabama? Those weren't the right type of white people. <laughs> Those were not the type of white people. I'm talking about, like, walking a dog type of white people, not, like, eating a dog type of white people. <laughs> <laughs> Never in Alabama did I see that. Okay, maybe, like, type of white people yeah yeah yeah. we want people who we want white people who take photos of squirrels not people who take samples of squirrels I say a lot of stuff you're not supposed to a lot of people say stuff you're not supposed to they just don't put it on YouTube yeah I'm a Hispanic but I enjoy being around white people I feel safer you're married to one exactly this girl's cute you can just tell no, she's white. She's just a big bone white. Dick white girls around here. Look at that. Jose. I'm sorry. Uh, they're not as pretty as you, though. I'll tell you that. Thank you. <laughs> this is gorgeous. And again, lake surrounded by beautiful thick white women. What else can you want? this lake white woman I'll be honest this is some of the prettiest stuff I've seen in Florida yeah it is nice and I love that the houses are all different yeah, we thought we knew Florida yeah and we know Florida very well yeah it's a massive state like all the houses in this neighborhood have charm and yet they're all different I love it I love it love it love it yeah. you might be moving me here yeah or moving with one another white woman that has more money and not sure. <laughs> I'm not gonna die today. I, not shit. Not, not shit. Then it's on the camera. <laughs> you get your real estate game up. Yeah, that's what I'm working on. No, I wouldn't trade you in for one more, more money. I would never trade you in. <sighs> I like that part. I would never. You know, I would never trade you in, right? Yeah. You're my number one. And only. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, only. Of course. <laughs> That's exactly where I was going with that. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm really thinking myself in a hole here. <laughs> Somebody's going to be walking back to Fort Myers today. I'm going to be walking home alone today. I'll you know put you mean? on the Greyhound bus. Oh, no, baby. Where you have to wear a mask. I will behave. I'm sorry. And don't say anything. Who wants to wear a mask for four hours? I don't know. There's always some person like, you should. I'm like, no, you shouldn't. Unfortunately, for a brief period, we've had to. Yeah. But look how beautiful this is. I'm going to back up. I will say this city is gorgeous. It's almost as beautiful as you. Aw. Yeah. I get it. The whole mask thing, like if you're around a lot of people or at a doctor's office or a hospital, you should probably be wearing it. But you know, I don't need to wear a mask to be outside. Or my with friend my family. Ron told me that I could I don't have to wear that crap. Huh? Know, so my friend Ron told me I shouldn't have to wear that crap. <laughs> Stop acting like you know the governor. He's my friend, I'm really friends with him. I'm really friends with him. Why, why won't you believe that I have high-ranking friends? When I meet this fellow, I will believe him. you. There's no way you're going to meet him. <laughs> we just go fishing and stuff when he's on Naples. Every time he comes down to Naples, he calls me from like a weird phone number. I think it's a telemarketer. He's like, come on, how's that? Let's go fishing, buddy. And he tells me about how much he hates people that are in government. And he wants to take over the world. And I'm not supposed to tell you about this stuff. It's just between here. Okay, Jose, I will believe it when I see it. No, believe it. We're friends. We go fishing together. I mean, I've had other high-ranking friends, and you have had a problem with that. Remember when I was friends with um, Luis Posada Carriles? 
Be a dad with salsa friends up here. So what? I don't care what he did in his personal life. He sounded like a pretty cool dude. He was awesome. Yeah. Me and him were like actually pretty cool. He's so rare. According to the news, he passed away a few years ago. But then he did work for the CIA, so who really knows if he's still around or not? I mean, he was old. You can't trust the government. Anybody who's that deep in the government, you can't trust that he's still dead or alive. For all you know, he's in like another country or not drinking a margarita. Okay. With a new identity or something. Who knows? Yeah. I mean, I'm just saying I don't, I don't really know. Because I haven't talked to him since... Has it been? He might be dead. I mean, they say he's dead, but again, when anybody's he was born, old. He was like your dad's age or yeah. older. Yeah, he was older than my dad. Yeah. He was way older than my dad. So if I've had friends like that, why couldn't I be friends with Ron DeSantis? You don't believe me? Uh uh-uh. uh. Don't believe me. One day I'm going to just show up to the house with him, but here's my friend Ron DeSantis. Me and him are going to go. Shoot some alligators or something. Cool. He can do that. Huh? He's allowed to do that. Hey, by the way, we're supposed to like, head towards downtown Lake Lake Bloom at some point. So if you can like, pick up a map to figure that part out. You're looking at me like you're gonna kill me. What's up with that look? Is that, did Ooh, I say something? Panda. Else? Oh, cool, man. Two Did I pandas. say something I wasn't supposed to? Or? I like pandas. That is cool. Can we put orca sculptures at our house? I'll make you an orca sculpture. Thank you. Once you buy me a house. No, man. We're, I'm building you a house. Okay, can you... Um, you realize I'm driving, windshield wiping, and then you get me this <laughs> phone. You could have just looked it up yourself and told me to turn the left at some point. Oh, this is a massive lake. I think we've gone around in a complete circle at this point around this lake, have we? I don't know. But I like what I'm doing, so. Well, you know, our subscribers don't want to see us driving around in circles. Uh, yeah, we went around the whole lake in a complete circle. <laughs> this is retarded. Like, we've really gone around this whole lake in a circle. <laughs> We're back where we started. This is where we started. Yeah, where do we go? Where do we go from here? Um, we're going to have to go back around the lake a little bit more. I like the houses here. <laughs> and I would love to have a walking trail like this around. You know you're the only white woman in my life. I better be. You are the only white woman. You better treat me right and take me to Starbucks. I will. People think I'm a jerk. He's really sweet. What he wants to be. Yeah, I don't want people to know that I'm married to her. Somehow she thinks you guys will figure it out. Like, people think we're together. We've been married 12 years. I kind of want to keep that a secret. No outlet. Mm-hmm. Jose, I'm in all your videos. So, I remember just good friends. Jose? Yeah. Th- we're thir- we're in our thirties. We're always together. And I'm in all your videos. We live together. We live together. So it's kind of obvious at this point that we're married. I just thought if I denied being married to you, you won't be able to put me on child support. We'd have to have children to do that. Can't put me on child support? No. I can make you buy the kids some shoes, but we don't want to have kids. So you're not putting me on child support? If we don't have kids, there's no child support. And some it's incredible how some people haven't figured out on our videos that we purposely try to make a ruckus. Yeah. And they don't really get it. Some people just look at it. That's what I like. I've always loved houses like that. I have. Yeah, living in that house would be like living in a dungeon. Not really. I bet you can get some good sleep in there, though. Well, that's why you have a house like that. So you can sleep. <laughs> what are you just 
doing at your house that you <laughs> you're at your house to sleep let me tell you this was a beautiful neighborhood so these houses were what almost on an acre or some of these yeah these are big lots too they're like at least half an acre mm -hmm. yeah I didn't like when it was this pretty. I thought it was mostly a bunch of ghetto dumps. You know, a bunch of hoods and, and, and you know. Oh. I mean, there's a lot of ghetto people out here, though. Mm -hmm. Like, that restaurant we were in, mm -hmm. you notice how, like, everybody was wearing clothes that I would have worn when I was 16 years old? Oh, clothes that you still wear? I do not dress like that anymore. <laughs> Get out of here, bro. <laughs> I'm wearing a Field and Stream shirt right now. Flower pants and, like, Crocs. How is that, like... Uh, Crocs weren't even around back then. <laughs> and my underwear is not showing. I do not dress the way I used to when I was 16. Like, why would you even say yeah. that? Why would you even say that, bro? Is that yeah, how... your shirts are, are more tight now. I will admit, your, your shirts are way more tight now. You used to wear 10, 10 XL, so it could be like a dress. Are you making fun of my style? Okay, that was cool. It was on BET. It was on MTV. <laughs> it was cool to wear yeah, a dress. It was dress. on Pops, okay? Oh, yeah. You should get your fashion advice from the TV show Cops. That was cool. But you know, dressing like that was never going to get a white woman. That's why everybody stopped dressing like that. You know what? We're not getting white women dressed like this. Mm -hmm. Sure, it was great for the hood rats. Mm -hmm. They're not going to get Oh, they're going to get you child support. How has my style evolved since I was 18? Um, not much. Whoa, hold on, hold on. Because you used to dress like a punk rocker when I first met you. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah that, that, that wasn't a fly either. I mean, like, we're good for each other. <laughs> we even each other out. Yeah. You're like, you're not a hoodlum. And I was like, and you're not about to perish yourself. Huh? Yeah. Oh, true that. You were, all, you were dressed like an all black and. No, you got around me. I was like, no, you got, I, I, you dress better now because I make you dress better. You made me wear colors. Yeah, dress pretty and nice like a woman should. Yeah. You used to dress. You took me to the hospital on your first, on like our first date with your dad with me dressed like a punk rocker with black hair. And it was dark. That was a horrible thing to your do to your dad. Do to you actually? <laughs> He's like, "Who is this person? Why are they in my hospital room?" <laughs> well, we thought he wasn't gonna make it. Yeah. So I wanted you to meet him if in case I kept you around. Not saying that at that point I knew it was gonna keep you around. Oh, you knew? Uh, oh. No, I mean, I, just in case. Just Jose, in case. you were already living in my house. <laughs> You said, oh, there's not other people here. There's just a girl. That sounds good. Yeah, if you got to live with 20 Cubans for one white woman, <laughs> you're probably going to pick living with one white woman. That's not. Yeah. Is it okay that I'm his. Look at the size of that house. Is it okay what? Is it okay that. Oh, that's not a house. It's a golf club. I knew a house going to be that big. There's a public. That is a Hispanic. No, person. there's a public charities. Is it okay that as a Hispanic, I don't like living around other Hispanic people? I'll party with them or eat at a restaurant with them, but like, I don't want to live in a Hispanic neighborhood. Maybe in Miami where there's like, they're rich Cubans, but not like freaking like, not in Lehigh. Jose, we live in Lehigh. <laughs> we do actually. We were lied. I gotta, I, I gotta, I gotta complain to my landlord. She told me we lived in Buckingham. Turns out we actually live in Lehigh. Yeah. I want my, I want a, I want a discount for that. Actually, it's good that we're living here. Hopefully, the rain stops. Is it 
it's good that we live in Lehigh. We do actually live in Lehigh, you know that, right? Yes, I am aware. Kind of, you know where. We live in Lehigh. <laughs> and we live among around. No, well, but it's not the Q inside of Lehigh. Yeah. Now, you go like two blocks over, and it's like high Leah part two open there. Yeah. But like where we're at, it's actually like we're the only Hispanics in our little section. Yeah, we are. To to the this opportunity of the other residents. Oh yeah. <laughs> like I was just hanging out, like two. I was like a block away the other day hanging out. A neighbor lady came over. She's like, "Yeah, let me help some trees or whatever," because she saw me putting in my palm trees. She was nice enough to give me palm trees. Hmm. That's why I live around white people. And she gave me a mango tree too, right? She gave me a mango tree. Yeah, Ooh. she gave me some palm trees, some baby palm trees. Well, it turns out. See, like, how many years did I live in a Spanish neighborhood? Nobody gave me no palm trees or anything. Ow. We've been there for four months. This lady literally gave me a four hundred dollar plant. She's like, no, we actually had a neighbor who planted banana trees on, on our, our property. property and said they were his. Yeah. Yeah, because he was trying to steal our piece of land, even though it was already surveyed and clearly, yeah. That's a different. That's what I'm saying. Like, even though I'm Hispanic, I don't want to live around other Hispanic people or Latino. Actually, because he was yeah Haitian. So. Mm -hmm. I don't want to live around other Hispanic or Latino people. They're just too ignorant. Mm -hmm. Like, I'd rather live around white people. Like, these people, not oh, like I said, like, I'm trying to type them. Right <laughs> look at the hardware store. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, look at the whole plaza. That's a really cool plaza. Take them in that's there. That's a very cool plaza. It's next to Publix. And I think that's one of the original Publixes, if not. I don't know, look it up. Mm -hmm. Should do a walk around thing. It looks old as crap, it might be. Yeah. yeah. This city is really neat. I like it. It's kind of like a common Brand new version. Waffle House, two story. Yeah. Two stories, really? It's huge! Two stories, Katie? Where's the other half of it? <laughs> I was just wondering, like, okay, it's a two story. Where's the other half? <laughs> <laughs> what did you just say? Well, anyways, she comes over and she let me have um a love bird. Almost a famous chicken. And like I'm hanging out with her, and this is like two blocks away, it's just about. And I can hear the music from our house over there. Ah, I'm trying to have a conversation. Look. This mute law? Oh my gosh. There's people from Alabama here. Yeah. Alabama's the mob, bro. So, I'm hanging out with these white people and I'm trying to sound professional and nice and white so they don't think I'm a hoodlum. And I can hear from our house like reggaeton and like salsa and like the most like Latin sounding like I was just like Sure, it wasn't coming from our house. Oh, it was our house. Where else do you think it was? Where do you think it was coming from? I know. And then, like, if it's us playing music, I'm okay with it. Yeah. But a while back, um, I was hanging out. Downtown's that way, but we're gonna drive into the hood now. We'll leave downtown for some other video. Yeah. I'm sure there's plenty of videos with downtown like that. Right, we're trying to show you guys like the real streets. Um. Be a hood around here somewhere. What was that saying? Oh, yeah, like if it's us playing, you know, music loudly, mm -hmm. I'm okay with it. But if it's like there's like two blocks over, there's a Spanish guy, and he blasts music every once in a while. Yeah. And I feel like so disgusted when I hear it coming from that direction. Oh my gosh. And it's stuff that I would listen to, mm -hmm. but I feel just like, ugh, que, que cosa más, este tipo, mm -hmm. este tipo, yeah, música alta, poeta, you know, like, I feel like I'm comfortable about it, like, bro, can you see we're in a nice neighborhood? You know? Yeah. And I'm sitting here, like, Dixieland Elementary School. Okay. Uh-huh. Anyways. Anyways, it's hard how... Odd how like when somebody else does something trashy, yeah, I look at it like, oh, you're trashy. But then I'll do it, and I and I don't think it's trashy if I do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? 
So I was hanging out with your dad yesterday. And your dad got uncomfortable when somebody said you didn't act Cuban. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you said I'm more American than Cuban? Yeah. I'm really not that Cuban anymore. Yeah. I, because I your dad did, well, did not take that well. Yeah. It bothered him that I'm not that I'm more American than Cuban. Like that somebody ha- somebody said it. I think that's mm. that's what bothered him. I am more American than Cuban. Is interesting. I mean, you never wanted to marry a Cuban woman. Oh no, that's too much hassle. Yeah. <laughs> they spend too much money. They cheat too much. I mean, first of all, if you got a Cuban woman, they're too hot. Everybody's trying to hook up with her. Mm-hmm. You know, like you're not just gonna get a Cuban woman. And like everybody's gonna hit on her. She's hot. She's Cuban. You have a Cuban woman on the side. I, I mean, somebody else has a Cuban woman on the side. I wouldn't do it. And you wonder why I tapped your phone? Nothing to find on my phone. Exactly. You still do it though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm very possessive. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, why I wouldn't want a Cuban woman. First of all, the the, the, the upkeep and maintenance costs is higher than a white woman. It's a bad investment. They'd be like trying to drive fancy cars and stuff and, and like go to the Macy's or something and like, I ain't got no job, I ain't got no Macy's. Like, what is this? 12 ribeyes or 5 T bones for $25. And they'll add free jumbo shrimp with Popo right there, no? big and thick bundle. The Popo's looking at me though. So, Bro. you do realize you're, you're an adult. I'm not wearing a seatbelt. Mm. He can totally see it. Mm. Well, I mean, if my acid reflex and everything else is like. Oh, I know. So, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I could just drop it for him. <laughs> That'll do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll convince him. You know, I just think I like swallowed something I wasn't supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've got. All your pills and stuff. So, we can prove that. Oh, it's just so loud. Everything is so loud. Cops make me nervous, bro. Go. Mm, why? Yeah, because they're cops, bro. Hold on. You know what I'm saying? Like, you could get caught with something you're not supposed to. You don't have nothing you aren't supposed to. So, there's still the potential that I could. Jose, if you ain't doing something dumb, you don't need to fear the cops. I'll tell you why I really don't. I'll tell you why I really don't want to be with a Cuban girl. Yeah. Uh huh. It's just too expensive. You know, like... Too much? Ever since I was, like, in elementary school, I knew I wanted to marry a white woman. Yeah? Cuban woman, there's just, like, too much politicking around the whole idea. Yeah. Like, Cuban people just politic too much. I don't want that in my life. Yeah, I've noticed that. That's why I don't want to learn Spanish. I have the ability to learn Spanish. I just don't because I like to like stick to myself. <laughs> There's a lot of things I like about white women. Uh huh. Oh, dang it. Her path is blocked. I feel like white women are more innocent. Yeah. Just, I don't know, it's a cultural thing that I like. I like white women. I like, um, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I don't want to show, though. Like, white women are down a ride, like, no matter what. You know, like, actually, there's actually a comedian who has a skit about that. I don't know if you've seen it. 
the gluten free. Yeah, the gluten free white woman. Yeah. I want a real white woman. <laughs> There's a lot of mostly African American comedians have done these skits. Yeah. There's several skits along the line. It's true. I actually try to be gluten free. <laughs> exactly. I want a real white woman. I like Walmart better than Target. Now that's the wrong type of white woman right there. But I do like the home decor oh, stuff at Target. There. This is trash. I will there. say that. I only like Walmart because I can fit in their clothes. Wow. <laughs> this, is this is not the type of white woman I But I do want to go to Target. Like, I, I'm perplexed. I prefer going to Target for stuff because I know it's nice. But then I get sucked into the Walmart trap. This could lower your property value. I'll go to Tiger from now on. This looks pretty trashy back here. This sort of reminds me of Alabama, bro. Oh my god, this looks like Santa in Alabama. Mm -hmm. Oh, man, man, that's right back to memories. This is like Moon Lake. Moon Lake. This is like Santa. Yeah. This is like a Santa type of place. See, like, most people wouldn't realize how ghetto this is back here. They just see the ocean and think it's pretty. They don't realize how ghetto this is. Look how ghetto this is. Oh my gosh. How about you get that for nothing? And with good reason. You should make that the cover photo just to anger all the rich people. Yeah. Like, this is the real. <laughs> the real. The real, like, one. This is ghetto. Real, like, here. This is super trashy back here. Mm -hmm. Whoa, look how trashy that is. There's your cover. That's a car. We should make, we should really make that the car for them. Mm -hmm. I was just that's that's how you get views right there. Do it. We should make that the car for them. I don't know if I get a chance to take a picture. Somebody's blasting music too. We gotta be careful. This is the type of thing where you don't want to get caught blasting like recording on purpose. Mm -hmm. you should even make reference to the fact that we're recording. Yeah. And most people would see this happen there and not even realize how ghetto this is back here. That's how you get experience, like you don't really realize that. That's where your where real life experience comes in. Most people see this neighborhood and they don't realize it's bad. They're like, why is this neighborhood bad? But like, once you've lived in Alabama, you understand why this is bad. There's a few things right off the bat that make this neighborhood bad. First of all, just the, the way the road's laid out, how you can't just drive fast through, you have to slow down. That already lends itself. This is a bad area. See how they've littered? Mm -hmm. See how they've littered like sofas and stuff? Are we gonna make it through there? No trespassing, you will get shot. Yep. Does it say that? Yep. This is bad. This is actually the road we're supposed to be on to get out of here. You think we'll make it through there? There's a little we'll get stuck. We're only going like a mile through it. We're going to a mile through that. Of that, because of that stupid, uh, this is the detour. Doesn't look like we're gonna get stuck though, does it? I don't think we will. This thing doesn't have four by four, but it doesn't get stuck easily either. Is this a trailer? This is a road. This property. is a road. This is the actual road, bro. Oh, really? This is the actual road. Wow. This is the actual freaking road. Are you sure? Yeah. This is actually on the map, bro. This is actually a road. No, it's not. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. You don't have four by four. You know what, right? I am aware. <sighs> Dang it. Oh my Dude, gosh. This is so trashy back here. My goodness. Look at this. This is trashy. We can't get back. We can't get out of here. This is like Alabama Part 2. Look, they're burning garbage. This is like where we used to live in Alabama. Did before. the dog move? No, we can't go through there. These people's lawns. There's no way we're gonna get through that. See the mud pile and everything. See, this is like where we used to live. That was like this, like super, like, like super backwoods. I think if we go through here, it might make it. Okay, so like you could go through here. We're not gonna make it through there. This is so we're, trashy. We're gonna bro. have to turn back. Bro, look at how trashy this crap is. Yeah. Let's uh, turn back. Let's get out of here. Yeah. There's no way we're gonna make it through there. Yeah. Bro, this is so trashy. Uh huh. Look at how, this is like what we used to, like, this, yeah, 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 this reminds yeah, me of where we used to live in Alabama, yeah. like, where people just burn their garbage, and, like, 
This is super, super. This is a super dangerous neighborhood. You wouldn't even tell it. No, that's what I, what I told you guys when you come in this neighborhood. I tell you, like I saw all the signs of like very scary southern rural place. Yeah. And you couldn't tell right off the bat, but like if you know what you're looking at, that's what I said. Like when we came in this neighborhood, you were probably wondering like this ain't bad, Jose. Like trust me, I know bad. Like, like that comes with experience. Oh yeah. Like this back here is bad, bro. Yeah. This back here is bad. Like that's the type of like if you saw that little strip right there, like that's where we lived in Alabama. Like imagine living like that's where we lived in Alabama right there. Yeah. Like a place like that, you know, like. Oh, snap! This truck doesn't have four by four, but it has a very good. What's it say? No trespassing. You will get shot. You will get shot. What? It actually says that. Yeah. It literally says no trespassing. You will get shot. Bro. Okay, so there's there are houses and stuff back here. Uh huh. Right, let me see if there's a way out. Let, let's go back to the main road. Yeah. Let's see if I can turn around here. Yeah, this is really, really backwards, backwards type of place. Like, yeah. This is like really. Ooh really like this is what our neighborhood in Alabama looked like yeah like this like where you drove in and like you knew there was like some backwoods crap going on yeah you know like where you just drive in and you could just tell like there's there's some but it was like I, I, in my mind I was like okay we're either gonna live in the hood of Montgomery or in some backwoods place like this and I was like well at least in the backwoods it's white people what a freaking mistake yeah we probably would have been safer in the hood. Yeah. Hopefully we didn't get any nails because, you know, people out here, they put nails out. Yeah. So that if you don't live here, you get a flat tire. But we have sensors. It'll, it'll, it'll tell us. Yeah. They'll put, like, a place like this, they'll put out nails and stuff in certain parts of the road. And only the local people know, like, where the nails are and stuff. Like, they'll do all types of stuff back here. And if they got a lab back here and they're trying to make some, you know, a little batch every once in a while. Like, they'll do stuff like put t nails out on the road. They'll do all types of stuff just to make sure, like, the word gets around that you can't go back there. That's pretty rough, bro. Jose. Mm -hmm. Got a bunch of cars coming at us. Yeah. Okay, so that Mercedes is going that way. We should be able to go that way. Is it like all the cars that are running? Yeah. Just when in doubt, follow all the nice cars. Yeah. yeah, there's some backward stuff out here, bro. This is that mobile home right there. That is scary. Yeah, they're building new houses right here. That's a brand new house going in right there. Check that out, y'all. They're building a brand new house. And it's not that big. It's not big, no. It's a little house. They're clearing that lot. So, like, that's the thing, like, this area. Lakeland has some good stats for growth and stuff, but like... Yeah, this is what a lot of Florida used to look like. Yeah. Yeah, people don't realize how southern and backwards some parts of Florida are. Yeah. Like, they really don't realize that this is what's the detour. We just kept going on that way because I wanted to see what it was back there. See that mobile home like with plywood on the windows and everything. This one's got an improvised fence along the front. It's not even a real fence. Yeah. Yeah, they got some. I think we got a flat tire, by the way. Really? Yeah, it's a point. We might have a flat tire. Mm -hmm. Either that or just that the road's that bad. I think the road is that bad. Just. Uh -huh. Okay, we are back on main road, so it should level out here. Alright, so there's supposed to be a hood over this way. Uh, somebody, one of our subscribers, said the hood was over here, but it's not the only hood in, in this like, one. There's several hoods. Mm -hmm. And we have sensors that would tell us. Yeah, we don't. It's just the road. It was pulling because the road was so bad. Mm -hmm. Ariana Tire Center. And the other thing in Florida is like wherever like there's a a lot of times like the tire shops will go around spraying nails in the in the area so that they can get more work. It's very shady, but it's a common practice. 
What am I looking at? Is it a Ford, but it's got like a Chevy light stuck in the front? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, when you see that headlight, you're buying automatically just stinks Chevy. I didn't think I would enjoy... Driving through a hood? Driving through Lakeland, but I have really enjoyed I have. this. This is not what I expected. No. This isn't even like remotely what I expected. So we're going on to the hood now. So in this video, we've seen the nice parts. We've seen the bad, sadly it's raining, <laughs> but we've seen the nice parts, we've seen the bad parts, and now we're about to see the hood. Yeah. Just a little bit of everything. They're clearing a lot of lots from your houses. Mm. That signals growth. Yeah, well the fact that it's the only city in the whole country that, that's has, had, job growth. That has had a job growth since the pandemic mm -hmm. says a lot. But we're about to go into the hood now. We're about to see the Lakeland hoods, and it's raining, so it should be pretty, it should be quiet in theory. Pablo and Pablo. Yeah. Pedro and Pablo. P and P. PPP fraud. Yeah. Like okay. So there's yeah. a food store here. With a Western Union. And, uh, Western Union. There's some there's interesting. There's some Puerto around here. Yeah. You can just tell by the cars. Yeah. Boricua. Mi gente de Puerto Rico. Mexican. Paleteria y pastelería. Maduro. Maduros. Maduros, does it say that? Maduro. Maduros is the same. Maduro. We sell Maduros. What type of Maduros? Just Maduros. Maduro. Maduro. That's a very odd thing to advertise. Maduro is like a fried plantain, right? I think so. It's so sweet plantain. Sweet plantain that's fried. Yeah, it's like somebody's like actively driving around looking specifically for that. <laughs> Isn't that an odd thing to like specifically advertise? I think it's super odd to advertise that. Crows are in bad shape here. Menudo. Menudo. Yeah. Isn't that the band Rick and Mark, Mark used to be in? Menudo. Yeah. Menudo is a, is a band. I didn't know he was in that. Was he in that? I think he was in that. I don't know, man. I think there's royalties to the hoods. We'll find out. I, I, I feel like my hood radar is tingling. This is going to be like the most incredible video about Lakeland on the internet. Yeah. Dude, nobody's actually like, you, you know, we're showing the good stuff and the bad stuff and just on a rainy, crappy day. Like, this is the type of stuff realtors like cringe about. Oh! You know? We're Publix. looking at the Publix distribution center of Lakeland. Yeah. <laughs> this is the type of stuff like realtors like see this and they have a heart attack. You know what I mean? But this is the real stuff. This is the real Lakeland. That's why this it's is like, the real streets of Lakeland, bro. Like this is what it's actually about. Raw, uncut. You know what I mean? Like real deal, bro. <laughs> Don't bro. That's what you want to see. You want to see the real stuff. You know that video I said bro like a hundred times? I know. And it got the video. It probably is going to make that video blow up. Because like 50 people have said. Bro. Why you say bro, bro? <laughs> so I can get some more views, bro. Because I got bills to pay, bro. Remember that one video where we did it nonstop? Oh, yeah. People just annoyed at it, though. Publix. And Publix. Publix distribution. Costilla Grill Mexican food. Costilla Grill. My millennial sense is tingling. Tingle, tingle, ling. 
<laughs> I was gonna do that to you, right? Oh, I knew. That's why I did it. Bro, ya tu sabes lo que hay conmigo. But I, I still think I'm super Cuban. Like, I'm very Cuban. I'm very Cuban, like, and I, I like being Cuban. Yeah. It's not like I denounce who I am. On the contrary, like, I like who I am. Yeah. And we just say Cuban food. Like, that's mm -hmm. what we eat. Mm -hmm. I listen to Cuban music. That's what I do. Mm-hmm. But I recognize how other people see us. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you watch the news and there's a credit card fraud ring. And it's Reynaldo Rodriguez Gutierrez. <laughs> and uh, I'm just making these. Jorge Martinez. <laughs> and Juan Ferreira. From high, all three of them are from Hialeah. And one's from Homestead. You're like, ah. Oh. That's like, ugh. It's like every time you watch the news, like if you just write credit card fraud ring yeah. on Google, I'm sure like they're from Hialeah. Yeah. Like I do recognize how other people see it. How I really it. It's like when I moved to Alabama, like, all the Cubans thought I was, like, going to Montana. Yeah. Like, every Cuban we ever met, the only reference they They had thought ever, you were in Alabama because you did a whole bunch of bad stuff. Yeah. Like, they're, like, every concept. It's, like, the only thing they've ever seen in their life is Scarface. So, they yeah. identify you as That's Scarface. That's the only thing they know about Cubans in Alabama is Scarface. It's, like, a horrendous... <laughs> Like, when you meet somebody and the first thing they think about Cubans is, oh, yeah, man, like, you so... I'm like, no, dude, I... Like, they what? thought you were going to be a plug. <laughs> it's like... I met a lot of people in Alabama that thought I was going to plug them in. In fact, you know those black people that were trying to be really friendly, friendly with me in Montgomery? Yeah. That's exactly what they thought. That's like, they weren't just being friendly, they'd be friendly. Oh, yeah. And, I, and I, they were like, even like, yo, bro, we're, you know, we're these people. You know, we got your bag if you need anything. I was like, there's no way... I'm gonna join a gang for protection. You know what I mean? Like that's not gonna happen. Yeah. But I had one one gang basically. I had actually several gangs in Alabama where, when they found out you were Cuban, they're like, "Yo, you Cuban? Bro? Hey, you know what's good? You know if you ever need to do business, you know whatever." I'm like, "Yeah, bro, I'm good." But that's a lot of people in Alabama that the only concept they have of Cubans is that we're we're, we're a plug, you know? Yeah. That's the only thing they've ever heard about Cubans is. Is that? And if they've been to prison, it's actually even worse because. Oh yeah. Um. There was this thing in like the '90s where Cubans took over the prisons in Georgia. Mm -hmm. So like, that's why a lot of like like well, people over there knew about Cubans. They just had a lot of like. Wrong perceptions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. This could be a cover photo right here too. That's very neat. And yes, in any culture, there is people who do that, yeah. do stuff like that. Shout out to my homies. But the majority of the people are, are just regular, working. regular, hardworking people, and you can't equate that yeah. to the only thing they know. Like, like how many people in Alabama, like those black people that were being friendly with me over there, you know, like they weren't just trying to be friendly. Like they, they thought like we were yep. from Florida, like we're gonna plug them in. And I yeah. could have, but I didn't like the way that went about it. <laughs> no. No, but it's like, it's it's very demeaning, actually. It's like, yeah. mm -hmm. we're just normal people. Yeah. This is what I envision like we look like. This is exactly yeah. what I had in mind. This is exactly what we're looking at here. <laughs> Other, the ones that, that are criminals that went to prison, mm -hmm. then they you know Cubans from the prison riots in the 90s or whatever. Mm -hmm. The Atlanta prison riots, and the, that's when Cubans took over all the prisons. Mm -hmm. So they just think that Cubans are like these super gangsters, and that's probably why they were afraid of us to some degree. Mm -hmm. You know, like they really were afraid of us. Some of them were really afraid. Thanks to that, too, I was able to get out of there alive because like, they know Cubans don't play. Yeah. Alright guys, thank you for watching. Make sure you hit the like and subscribe. Mm -hmm. Comment too. What are your thoughts on Lakeland? Is it good? Is it bad? 